catch them all From the context, find the answer in the context. Do not import words from other contexts, though you may be right still. I don't know who this Adonis is. I hope he's not a blasphemous pig because I'm a Muslim. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, what's going on, Sam? I don't know. Who are you? Because this name Adonis, I was familiar. I've seen you before, but I think I've blocked you. What's up? Well, uh, this is my first time calling. Oh, you're a black Hebrew Israelite again? I can tell you call could tell by your voice. You came on another name. Be honest with me. No, I, I I promise you I've never called you before. Never? Never. Okay. Never, well, ever. I'll trust you, man. Now I hope you're not a Hebrew side is gonna tell me where my mother's been and where she's going to go and what my what will happen to my daughters. No, all, all that all that's ridiculous. Um I am I'm, I'm calling, you know, because I'm having a, a bit of a conflict within myself. Right. And I just you know, really want to know if you could help. I um just so you can understand my background. Yeah. I, well, someone uh, just was, said you're a Sakari leader. Who? Well, uh, I, I may or may not be a, a black Hebrew Israelite, but that's not what I'm calling. No, but they say about. you're a leader, a Sakari Sakari leader, Adonis Glaud. They yes, they Adonis Glaud is my name. So, so uh, if if you could walk with me, Sam. I'm it depends, not man. To, Sometimes to I don't like I don't like the journeys people take me on. What is it? Give me your question. Uh, Let's see. I, I understand, but but you know my thing is um you know. Some would say I've been pulled into a cult, right? Um, oh. Okay. Yeah. Now, I grew up, just so you can understand my background, I grew up as a, a Roman Catholic, all right? I was baptized and, you know, my, you know, pretty much my whole life until, you know, I started coming across some of this information. Okay. You know, and, and recently, my mother, who's white, for the record, you mm -hmm. know, and not even just recently, just over the years since I've come into what, what some would call a cult, uh, you know, she she's urged me, Consistently do come back to the church, right? Good woman. Um, you said what? Good woman. Okay, yeah, she's urged me. To, she's urged me to come back to the church, um, but I, to, to be honest with you, um, you know, due to some of the reservations and things I have, and and you know, kind of lack of an ability to to come across yeah. anybody to, I think adequately represent the church. I just it's yeah. it's 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 just never happened you know what i mean so i mean i i don't know um i i heard you were catholic i don't know i i i'd honestly rather talk to somebody who's catholic in regards to this are yeah, you catholic uh there are a lot of doctrines of the catholic church i hold to yes i mean so what doctrines of the catholic church disturb you i mean to be to, to be honest to, to, it, it's it's certain doctrines but also it's like the, the history, you know, you got to understand that. Yeah, as, before you get to the history, give me the specific doctrine you struggle with because I have someone that's confirmed. She knows you because she deals with, with the black Hebrew Israelites. You told a guy named Brother Polite that he could kill his mother. He was okay with that. So uh, it's I, okay. I told, but, I told him that there's nothing morally wrong with it. That's what okay, I said. Good Not job. That I, I like that. I love the moral code that you guys espouse. So, but what doctrines of the Catholic Church? Be specific so we can get to it. Okay, so some of the doctors of the Catholic Church, um, maybe purgatory, um, yeah. the perpetual virginity of Mary. Yes. Uh, yeah. What else? Um, I'm trying to think. And, and, and some of just the, the the hierarchical, you know, the papacy, et cetera. Yeah. I, I just, I, I take issue with. I don't know which of those you, you hold to. Though. Now, I just want to ask a question because I don't know what your particular branch of Hebrew Israelites believe. Do you believe in the virgin birth of Christ, that he was conceived and born no. from the Virgin Mary? No, sir. Okay, so why are you even worried about the perpetual virginity of Mary when you don't even believe in the virgin conception and birth of Christ? Well, the reason is is because it's it's a it's a fundamental Catholic ideology. Yeah. So, but let's first understand. get down the virginal conception and birth of Christ because if there's no virginal conception of birth of Christ there's no perpetual virginity because she wasn't a virgin to begin with when she conceived Christ so why do you reject the virginal conception and birth of Christ um when I read the text and of course understanding the prophecies I understand that this all had to happen by the seed of David and what does the seed um, of David mean the seed of David means David's seminal fluid 
And, and to how produce. could D David Seminole fluid be transferred to Jesus when he was dead a thousand years before the birth of Jesus? Well, of course, he had descendants that were created from his seminal fluid, so and they, they had such. No, you're not listening to yourself. You see, this is the problem I have. You didn't listen. You said he has to be the seed of David, and you said the seminal fluid of David. But now you extended that to the seed of his descendants. That's not what you said. So it's not literally the seed of David, right? It's not literally his seminal fluid, right? Well, him particularly, no. Okay. So right there, you just answered yourself. You just proved that the seed of David cannot be literal because David did not inseminate Mary to give birth to Jesus. So that means you have to look elsewhere to know what seed means. For example, in Genesis 3.15, the seed of the woman. Does woman have seminal fluid? No. But they wait, it's the all... seed of the woman, Genesis 3.15. Explain how a woman can have seed, Genesis 3.15. Well, if we could just slow down for a second, because the high priest is called the seed of Aaron, and Good the Israelites are the seed of Jacob, but Good they're job. not a, the seed of either of those people. Good so job. No, no, I, so you just made my case. Seed doesn't okay. mean from the seminal fluid. It means to be a physical descendant thereof. So what proof do you have that Jesus can't be the seed of David from his mother's side? Um, well, number one, what proof do you have that Mary is a descendant of David? The fact that Jesus is called the son of David. Okay, so that in and of itself is, is self-evident that Mary is of the, the, a descendant of David. Logically, if Mary is his mother and he has no biological father and yet he's the son of David, then the only conclusion you can arrive at is that Mary has to be of the household of David. You need to prove that Jesus has a biological father. That's from David. Well, Who's his bi well, biological well, well, father? Well, well, this is this is the problem with that. Mary only has one relative that we see documented in the scriptures. Is she a descendant of David or even of the same yes, tribe as you David? Should know, you should know better that priests could marry any virgin from the tribes of Israel. No, I, I don't I don't disagree with that. And okay, I'm not but I'm answering with your that. question. So you're not listening uh -huh. to the answer. You're already anticipating how to object. No, Elizabeth not, being I'm his not, kinswoman. See, there you go again. I'm talking over me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you want here so I can repeat it back to you. Listen to the answer. You're referring uh -huh. to, I'm even going to tell you what you're referring to because you didn't mention it. You're referring to Luke 136, mm -hmm. where Elizabeth is said to be the kinswoman of Mary, Sun Genis. That mm -hmm. means that Mary, Elizabeth on her mother's side, would have been a Judahite. Because Levites could marry any woman from any tribe. So that doesn't prove that Mary is not a daughter of David. It proves that Elizabeth would have had Davidic blood from her mother's side. Prove me wrong. Oh, oh, well, well that, that's, that's a good assertion because, of course, it doesn't elaborate upon who her mother is. No, well, right? I'm asking you, I'm... You, 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 you skipped my answer. Who is the biological father of Jesus that made him the son of David? You didn't answer that. Well, let's just go first. What? I mean, if we go, if we go to Matthew one, it, it oh. clearly gives him a genealogy of a, of a no, man. I don't it. understand but, why. No, the no, 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 no. Finish it. Finish it. Don't play games with me, Matthew. Go to eighteen to twenty-five. That actually shows you just butchered the text. Read it. Go to Matthew one. I've, I've never butchered the text. Why would the genealogy of a man Can who has read? no biological relation hey, to uh, Jesus Christ Paulus, be listed in? You want to read or you want me to hang up on you? You've got five seconds Sam, to decide. Five, Sam, Sam, four. Why are you going to hang up? I've been respectful. Go to Sam. Matthew 1. Going, Matthew I'll, 1. Bye-bye. Apollos, go I'm, kiss Adonis. Bye-bye, okay, Apollos. Why, why have to be hung up on? Ooh, yep. Stinking wicked cowards. The dude doesn't. It quotes Matthew, but he doesn't quote 18 and 25. See their jokes. All right. See? They can't show you Jesus has a biological father, so I have to butcher Matthew 1. The same Matthew that says that Joseph did not touch Mary, did not know her sexually until she gave birth to her son. Does it get any clearer than that? Matthew 1, 18 to 25. Does it get any clearer than that? Are you guys tired or are you still up and you want me to continue teaching? I got another hour to teach if you want. If my heart is I find a way to block it, I go